Nigerian sing is down. <laughs> oh, mama tetema, tipo tipo tetema. Oh, mama tetema, aya twende tetema. Oh, mama tetema, shuka chini tetema. Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie. So I have a special guest here, Victoria. She's from Ghana. In listen, we are okay. in West Africa. Nigerian Ghanaian link up. So you naturally <laughs> like each other. Exactly. So today we're we'll cooking a uh, red bread. It's a it's a Ghanaian food, right? Yeah, it's a Ghanaian dish, but you know, all the Nigerians will say it's their own. But it's a Ghanaian dish. Explain to me about it. Right. I looked it up. I was like, it looks familiar. Right. And it's for the kid. I was like, really mm -hmm. sure. She has started. <laughs> and the article said it's a Ghanaian dish. Right. But but the thing is, I don't know if whoever wrote the article is Ghanaian. Exactly. And I don't know if they right. print out the own version, but whatever we're making today, it's the Ghanaian version. <laughs> See, I'm not using a recipe today, I'm using your recipe. Right. To get started, when you cook beans, you have to soak it overnight. Correct. So the beans cook faster. Correct. And if you don't do that, you can boil water, yes. pour it on the beans and soak it for an hour, an hour, yeah. an hour, and then you can cook it and it takes nothing but 15 to 30 minutes to cook it and you're all set instead of cooking for hours trying to get the beans to be soft. Once you uh, soak your beans for about an hour, you have to pour the water out and wash the beans. Okay, there's some pesticides in the bean, so you want to make sure you get rid of all of that. So that's why you soak it, then wash it so that it gets rid of that, and then you pour this out, and then we're gonna find it. When you soak the beans, so it becomes really soft, like when you uh, press it together, it breaks into two, like this, and the skin also comes off. So that's that's when you know when the beans are actually soft enough. We're gonna put it on high so that the water can boil a little, a little bit. Once the water is really hot, then we're gonna bring it down to the While the beans is cooking, I'm gonna slice three tomatoes, pump oil. How much of pump oil? You don't want dry looking beans, so if you need more, add more. But we're gonna start with a quarter. And by the way, if you're not comfortable with using pump oil, the recipe I found online says you can use a canola oil. They're lying. <laughs> want the authentic taste of red bread from the Wonderland. Canola oil will be But we also care about our cholesterol level. Absolutely. <laughs> we respect it. We don't eat this every day. If you are trying to, you know, lead a healthier lifestyle, yes. go with canola oil. Yes. How much garlic do we need? One tablespoon. I like to blend mine with my fresh ginger. Brown if you don't have fresh ginger, you want to use ground ginger. Caprica. It's for this tablespoon. But if that's just, you know, not enough, just keep dabbing. Tomato paste, right? That also helps with the color and it gives it a little bit more taste. So if you are using canola oil, do not skip the tomato paste. You're going to need one tablespoon. If you want to add a little bit of flavor to it, you want to add uh, just a little bit of seasoning. We're going to use the ground shrimp. Ah, uh, to season it a little bit. Really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the onions are already sliced, and uh, these are the fresh ginger. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just one. Yeah. Put the ginger into small pieces so it blends easier. Yeah. The Put our ginger and our garlic into the blender. We're gonna add a little bit of water so that it doesn't get stuck. <laughs> See, I don't like um, the narrative that if you're a girl, you have to know how to cook. I honestly don't like that. I'm obviously I'm a living evidence that that's not true. <laughs> yeah, I think it's outdated. It is outdated. It's outdated. Yeah, I'm talking to all the African men out there. <laughs> I think that if you eat, you should just know how to cook. That is not right. You should be helping your wife right. in the kitchen. If you can eat, you can you cook. Can cook. Or clean. And that's the thing, the balance. If I'm cooking, you're cleaning, because there's no way there will be pots of dishes in the sink and then you, you just so sit irritating. there and wipe your mouth. Listen, you have no idea how many times people have told me, like, no one's gonna want to marry you. Right, right. I'm like, I'll just marry a chef. That's their job. Exactly. <laughs> 
So we put another pot on the stove. We're gonna allow it to get a little hot. We're gonna add our oil to it and then the onions. We're gonna cook it for like maybe five minutes. So you just wanna make sure that it's really soft. You don't want it to get too hot right. because if it does, first of all, your entire place is gonna be really smoky. <laughs> the oven is gonna smell like pump oil and it's just gonna splash everywhere. I can already tell that the oil is not enough, so I'm gonna add a little more oil to it. So we're gonna do one tablespoon of ginger and garlic mashed together. Tomato paste. And then you're gonna do this for about another three minutes for it to like soak in and break down. We'll add our shrimp. If you have really soft tomatoes, use those because those will kind of blend a little better. Time to add your teaspoon of paprika. We closed all the doors next to the rooms and everything so it doesn't smell. That goes for every African dish. Ethiopian food? That thing would smell oh, like you're all right. Done. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. What's Yeah, that's like this stuff, yeah. Yeah. What? That's normal, that's okay. that's that's one way to taste it. We can go for some salt. Yes. This is where the Maggie cube will come into play. Since there's no, no Maggie, I'm gonna use the chicken flavor word we will not say. No, we will not say that. <laughs> After mixing and measuring and mixing and measuring, we're going to the right taste, right? Alright. It's been 15 minutes. I went ahead and took a piece of the beans and crushed it. If it crushes easily, then it's ready. The beans, that's now done cooking. I'm drain it, but leave a little bit more water at the bottom. What is she She's afraid of the pot. No, I'm afraid of the water. <laughs> it's hot. Okay, put it back on the stove? Yep. When you're doing red red, the idea of red red is the beans yeah. with some gari on top Sounds like a good idea. Right. Add some salt. Make sure your water is salty. 
Okay. And then you dip, and then you take them out, pat them dry, and then, and there you go. It's not as much work as I thought. <laughs> Vegetable oil to fry the plantain. All right, you're just gonna pour until like it's halfway in your pan. So make sure it covers the plantain. So it's not like deep frying. Right. So just make sure the oil is hot and then lower the heat so that when you toss the plantain in it, the hot oil just cooks it. Yeah. When you put the, the plantain on the oil, mm -hmm. After a couple of minutes, when it browns, you flip it and let the other side brown as well and this is what you get. It doesn't have to be this brown. Mm -hmm. We like it, this like color. It. All right, so the food is ready. So the time has come for a taste test. Wait, you don't have garlic. I have garlic. It's pretty good, isn't it? I wasn't expecting this. Hey! <laughs> in my own house! <laughs> oh, the Gary adds texture to it. Right. So this is what Gary is. It's just, it's made out of um, cassava. The best way to eat it is when you put it in a bowl. Add cold water and sugar. And some people add milk to it. It's just really good. And peanuts. And yeah. peanuts. This is one yes. of those things you see yes. at. <laughs> this one is also a Ghanaian dish, but the Nigerians think it's down. <laughs> I agree about oh, Ghana. It's, it's like an African, a Western African. Just food. like pigeon English, we gave it to you. You're welcome. <laughs> Ghana you don't have to steal everything. It's not your own. I'd like to rate this. I would give it a nine out of ten. Okay. It's really, really good. We'll take it. Like, what did you say? Oil else earlier. So mm -hmm. I was just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about this one. How would you rate it? I'll give it a solid nine. You know, I was thinking the plantain was gonna be salty, but it's actually not. It's perfect. You yeah. guys should definitely try this recipe. It's, yeah, it's amazing. Don't think I would just thank you. Honestly, so give it to the Ghanaians. Mm -hmm. Red, red, this is so awesome. Ghana. <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye. Honestly, when I first came to this country and I saw a uh, black pepper, I'm like. What is this? So I, I, I put right there, he also have this spicy. So I was like,